Hey, this is Reverend Joanna Bartlett, and I decided to do a video today about Claire Gustin's, which is your intuitive or psychic sense of taste. So we have a whole bunch of different intuitive or psychic senses, clairvoyance, which is seeing, clairaudience, which is hearing, uh, claircognizance, which is knowing, and then we also and clairsentience, which is feeling, and we also have a couple other uh, psychic or intuitive senses that don't get as much attention, which are Claire Alliance, which is smelling, and Claire Gustin's, which is tasting, and the two are actually very connected together. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about Claire Gustin's today, because it's one, again, I think that it doesn't get enough attention, that it gets glossed over in most um, teachings about mediumship or psychic abilities or even intuition. And I think it's a great uh, intuitive sense to develop because I found it to be really useful, honestly. Um, there's lots of information that you can get through your sense of taste. And you really can get tastes from spirit and smells from spirit as well. Because like I said, those two, our, our sense of taste and smell are, are very um, closely related. Without a sense of taste, you can't really smell. And um, so they're related in your intuitive or psychic or mediumship abilities as well. And so. Um, you know, I've done message work, I've done mediumship work where people, where I've gotten information, I've gotten a taste of something in my mouth about, you know, from somebody in spirit or, um, you know, you get, yeah, you just get taste sometimes, taste does come through. And so today in this video, I have a fun um, development exercise for you to help develop your own intuitive sense of taste. And it is my birthday today. And so the exercise is that we're going to eat some chocolate because who doesn't need a good reason to eat? It's educational chocolate eating. And so you can actually do this as a mindful eating exercise as well. And, um, and so if you want, you can pause this video. If you're not watching live, if you are live, go run and get some chocolate. Or you can do it, you know, anytime on your own time. So I have some lovely, I have some nice Buddha chocolate with a little bit of coffee in it. Um, and so we're going to do this in just actually in just a moment. First, I'm going to talk for one minute about other ways that you can develop your Claire Gustin's. And that is one of those is being aware of the foods that you eat, both in the sense of being aware of the foods while you are eating them to eat more mindfully and to really taste the flavors in the food, which is what we're going to do with the chocolate in just a minute, teasing you with the chocolate now. Um, but to be aware of the flavors and the food that you eat, don't just shovel it in, but really taste the food when you have that first sip of coffee or tea in the morning, really taste it, allow it to wake up your taste buds. When you eat, the, when you eat food, see if you can taste, especially if you didn't cook it, see if you can taste and identify the different spices and flavors in the food that you're eating. And, um, also try different new foods, try different foods. Try foods that you haven't tried before to kind of expand your database of, of flavor so that when you get information in that way, you can identify what it is. It's just another way really of expanding your symbols and your symbol dictionaries. You're, you're making your, your database of things and ways that you can be communicated with be a bit larger and a bit wider. And then in terms of the foods that you eat, if you tend to eat very sugary foods, very salty foods, maybe don't do that. Maybe go for foods that aren't as overpowering or very spicy foods because you want your taste buds to work. You want your physical taste buds to be in good shape and to work and to kind of train them to, to um, take in information and you also want you know your your energetic taste buds to be working as well so be aware of how much sugar and salt and spice you're putting on your food to see if you can really taste what is underneath on to the exercise so i'm just going to take you just need a little bit of chocolate and you could use fruit as well i was not eating chocolate for a long time because it gave me migraines and i am now miraculously <laughs> cured i don't know i can eat chocolate again i'm just very happy about the whole thing Trying to break this into a little piece. Oh, there we go. I just need a little piece of chocolate because it's better with a bit, little bit of chocolate. So you take your chocolate. You can even smell it first. I love the smell of chocolate. This is chocolate with a little coffee in it. 
Mm, you can smell it and really just connect with it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put the chocolate in your mouth and you're just going to taste it. You're just going to see the flavor profile of it, see how much you can get from it. Okay, and just kind of let it melt and don't just chomp, chomp, chomp and get rid of it. Like really savor it and appreciate it. All right, you ready? So if you're very dark chocolate like mine, you might be tasting the bitterness. You might have sweetness if it's milk chocolate or white chocolate. No chocolate judgment. If you have chocolate with bits in it like mine, and taste the coffee or the almonds, the nuts, or the whatever might be in your chocolate. And you feel the texture of it. Yeah, what can you feel with your tongue? Explore what that sensation of eating is like. There's flavor and there's also texture. What crunchy coffee bits in mine. And the smoothness of the chocolate as it melts. Just enjoy it. Mm. You can see how it feels, it tastes on different parts of your tongue, see if there's any difference. My understanding is that the that tongue diagram that we were taught as kids in terms of our flavors and where we taste flavors, is that not actually true? We have those taste buds all over our tongue, but perhaps, you know, how it feels on the tip of your tongue as opposed to the, the back of your tongue might be a bit different. The purpose, purpose of this exercise is to eat chocolate. No, it's to actually, um, it's just to explore and you can explore this kind of, these flavors and these feelings in your mouth with any foods that you like or even foods that you don't like. And the idea being it just kind of trains your taste buds and your tongue, your sense of taste, and enlivens it and brings it more to the forefront of your mind and to your senses so that when you are doing this work, it becomes another sense that you are able to activate and use and receive really useful information from spirit. So there you go. I do have a course coming up, an online course called Open Your Intuitive Senses. You can click in the description box if you would like to learn more about it. We will be delving into Claire Gustin's and Claire Allian's. Um, I guess you'll all have to get your own chocolate to do that one. But we'll also be doing a bunch of other exercises and meditations to open up your throat chakra, which is the chakra that's associated with Claire Gustin's and um, talking about ways to, um, you know, to open up and sharpen and use this, this sense in your intuitive mediumship psychic work. So I hope you will join me. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video.